Welcome back to the channel, y'all. It's good to be with you on this beautiful day. Look at these minners. We got some minners and goldfish. I am about to go meet up with Lunkers TV and we're gonna do some crappie angling. Let's see if they're biting. I hope they're munching. I'm pretty excited about crappie fishing. It's it's more of a um, it's more of a like a relaxing sort of situation. It's exciting, but I just like seeing that little that little tap, little tap and the jerk. I noticed this guy right here has got his lights on on the trailer and on his truck. I'm just digging it. I love my tundra. Tundra's been great, but that thing right there just looks awesome. One day, maybe I'll graduate to one. Maybe Ford will just give me one. Say, hey, LFG, we love your crop and fishing videos so much. Mainly going after white crappie today. Using my favorite crappie rod, the Yampa River. I've also got one for Rob, and I'm gonna rig that up with, I've got some braid on here right now with a 10 pound fluorocarbon leader that might be a little heavy for these crappie. We'll see, if I start getting more bites, then uh, I'll downsize and put some four to six pound test. So I may actually put some, some goldfish on some hooks, see what happens. Let's just go see if we can catch some, catch some fish under some bridges, around some marinas uh, that are hanging around on some live minnows. I've tried to get on the fish and find them, but really I enjoy other people catching the fish, watching them, just enjoying the camaraderie. It's good times when you're getting the meat. It's like hunting camp. Everybody gathers around, you're there for the harvest, enjoy the festivities, enjoy the, the primitive nature of hunter gathering. Maybe it goes that deep, I don't know. Maybe I just like fishing way too much. I've got my little tackle box right here, full of crappie essentials. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Speaking of that, where's Lunker's TV? Oh, right here. There he is, him and Steven. You can hear the green machine roaring. Are you ready to dangle? Yeah. Let the dangling begin. Hey, John. I got you this setup. So oh, this that looks fun. It's got braid and then it's got fluoro leader. Dude, this is uh, like that's a that's a Mac Daddy. You got to be real light with that one on the hook sets, but usually, like when you toss it out, if you rip the rod up, that'll be like five feet of line, five or six feet of line. So you can do like one, two rips, and then you'll be at 10, 10 12 foot. I'm excited for you to catch a crappie. Let's see our giant minnows. You want a goldfish? Uh, not yet. That's that's for the after party. <laughs> Are those dead? Yep. Awesome by the bridge piling. Get some chum going. Straight up through the lipper. There we go. Oh! Ah. Dude! How'd you let it go? Got boinked. Did you get a bump? Yeah, I did. Got taken! Oh, 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 oh. Yep. You got it? Oh. Ah, it came off. It was too big, dude. He couldn't grab the whole thing. Ripped his face off. Got him. Oh, is he on? Yep. He ate a dead one. Crappies! Crappies! Sorry, got real excited. Oh, he's a slimy one. I don't even know if he'll measure. This is a really small one, Rob. We're uh, probably pushing the limits here. Oh yeah, that's like an eight. That's like an eight incher. Nose hook another one. You just always want to be above them because they, the way their eyes are, they just, they, uh, they look up. Got him, got him, had him. Oh God, holy cow, took my rod down. Oh yeah, he's got it. Oh, come on now, Sally. Got him, yes. Yeah, Rob, got him. Took me like 16 rounds before he finally got it. Good job. Oh, catfish, catfish. Never have I ever seen that. Well, our limit's 30, so we got room. Yeah, that was such a crappie bite. Got him. Yes, that's running. Crappie keeper. Yeah. 
I think he's a 10 incher, man. Is he 10? Oh, dude, he's well over 10. Oh, yeah, well him. Is that your first crappie catch while you're meaning to catch him? Uh, yes. I've, I never go just, hey, nice. just go crappie fishing. Right. Monkey off the back. Bites over there. What'd you say? No bites over there. No. We, we can't hear what you're saying. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, whoa. You have a fish? Yeah. Yeah, you do. Right there as good. it was swimming away. As it was swimming away? <laughs> yeah, it might be a bass, bro. As we were swimming or it's away. A big it's a it's good a big crappie. crappie. Big in. Big, big in, crappie. son. Big in. Be, keep, be careful. Careful. Oh, you got him. Slaying him. Yes. Slab. 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 City. Baby. Yeah, that's a tasty one. Look, there's TV. Biggest crappie you've ever caught? Maybe? <laughs> Maybe. I don't that's know. a 14-incher. That's, bigger that's bigger than the bass we catch. <laughs> Lugger's TV coming in strong with his biggest crappie ever. Nicely done. If this was a flare video, this would literally be time. PB. PB. PB crappie. Literally. Oh, oh gosh, got him. Got him. Got him. Oh, no, he's a decrepit looking old dude. I think he might be 10. He's got a hump back. Make the cut. Oh, I think you're going to be a niner. Ow, you've got me. That hurt. It really hurt, man. Oh yeah, that is nothing even close. Thanks for poking me. Here, hand him down. Nope, another no, niner. Not He's a niner. niner. Not gonna do her. Okay. Oh, here we is go. that a fish? Here we go, yeah. baby. Here we go, baby. Got him. Got him. Yes. Good job on the hook set. Looks like a very oh. oh, I think it was another niner. Come on, there's got to there's be a big bondo in here somewhere. Big and get in here, baby. Yeah. Sorry. Ooh, yeah. Get excited for slabs, y'all. That's a nice one. Just a good old thumper. Rob, we're getting ourselves a decent lunch here, bud. We're working on a decent lunch. Steven might eat four of these, though. We got to get some extras. No need to measure on that one. Got ourselves a couple of nice slab crappies. And we're just kind of getting one or two off each one going to the next. Good little day in the outdoors. Come on, be a keeper. I'm, not, I'm trying not to kick the wall there. Oh, I think he's a keeper, dude. Oh, he's oh gosh, I got one. You got one on? I got one on. Oh, you got one on. Is it we do, this is our first double. This is our first double. That is definitely a 10. Look, oh. is he 10? Good I see. Good. Oh, yeah, that's a 10, buddy. 10 all day. Well in. You're going on the fryer, actually. I don't think mine's a keeper. No, he's a yeah, he's he's chunking back over. Okay, come on now. Come on now, Minna. Oh gosh, I just had another one. They're biting right here, boys. Steven, that's good luck. Eat another one. <laughs> Got him. They're not very far deep. This is a better one. Yes. Dude, oh, you got me. Oh, uh, another niner. Dang, I thought that was gonna be a keeper. Got him in the bite. Got him. Oh my On God. the dead one. You are just. Yes! They're all like the same size, though, is the problem. Hate the dead one without even a head. It's the kind of crappie I like right there. Dude, cooking these right through the nose here, guys. Just like that. Get a little shallower. I got one pull, two pull, that's it. Oh, got him. Oh, got him. Oh, Rob, Rob, I got robbed. Got him. Oh, snatchers. Oh, look at, look at that. I think we need one more decent crappie, Rob, and then we're gonna have a nice little meal for me, you, and Steven. Crappie in the elk. Oh, I got him, got him. This could be the one. Is that it? Oh, dude, I think it was a 10. Dead gum, son of a biscuit. Fart. Same depth zone. It's good. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I did. Oh, yes. Come on, baby. There he is. That's him. That's got to be him. Come on. Oh, yes. Yes, sir. Yes. What? How long was he? 11? Oh, oh, Rob. Another one. This one doesn't feel as big. Oh, I think it's a keeper, though. Ten and a half, awesome. It's touching, but we'll throw it back. Mm. 
Yes! Want, hey, we did it you pretty go, quickly. You wanna go slice them up? We have got enough for a good little lunch for me, Steven, and Rob. You know, we could stay out here and catch some more. We got plenty of other uh, bait selections here, but we have some hungry fish back at the Guggen house that need to be fed. So I think we're gonna just have lunch all the way around. Hey, Sarah just drove on that bridge. She didn't know we were here. Oh, she, she, goes, she I just literally... saw you guys fishing. <laughs> <laughs> Sarah was just here. She was watching Rob catch his first crappie on purpose. Isn't that awesome? What do you, you think about the crappie game, oh, no. Rob? It's all about the white bass. Okay. No, the no, white no, bass is cool. I feel like I just earned like a medal of achievement by being out here with the white bass king. Like, you guys know LFG has done bass fishing, correct? Done. That's why you've seen no bass fishing videos. <laughs> He's crappie, sand bass. I enjoy watching other people catch crappie. It's a good, fun community activity with your friends and family. Look at that. Yes, it's even strong. So this is where this big propane tank is coming in handy. Forgot if I mentioned or not, Rob was so generous to bring some of his elk from his elk hunting trips. He harvested two this year, an amazing feat, and he's already got some of the meat back and he's got a fresh steak. Well, it's been in his pocket this morning, I'm trying to thaw fresh. out. What, what, I don't know, it might not be the freshest. Well, crappie and elk, surf and turf special, y'all. Gonna be a nice little treat here. Never had crappie and elk, never in my life. If any of you have, you're a true outdoorsman, I gotta tell you. Okay, we're gonna flay these up, then we're gonna throw them on slab style, half shell style. Slabs on the grill. Look at that crisp white. This is why you catch crappies. Delicious. And we're going half shells on these guys. Just like this. That's it, right there. Throw it on the bobby. No condiments. All man taste buds. No need for Chick-fil-A sauce, pepper, Tabasco. I actually disagree with that. <laughs> Chick-fil-A Chick sauce is, is good with everything. God, crappies are awesome. If we were bass fishing right now, we'd still be out there trying to catch like, we'd Four. be on like our first fish. We have a little bit of salt, pepper, butter, Chick-fil-A sauce. This is what you call a man lunch? It's called that a munch. Munch. Good, that looks like it belongs in a restaurant. I kind of feel like I want some mustard. An elk steak's looking prime. Yeah, I'm not too worried mm. about that one. Yeah, that, that one's that good. Least of our worries yeah. here. These other crappies, at least the crappies cook up fairly quick. Oh yeah, see, in the, on this whole body, I've never done them whole body. It's probably a different way to clean them than that, but yeah, that guy's done. So good. Is it crappie? Oh yeah, crappie's delicious by itself. Crappie action? These are, they're not really flaking yet. So you could actually just, like, if this was our, uh, let's just, just say a survival situation, definitely we just cook those things up whole, and we just kind of scrape out the meat out of the ribs and everything. I could taste the fish in the, the meat, <laughs> like very strong. You can taste the fish with the meat, you think? I can taste the fish in the meat. I think it's good. Let's try uh, Let's try some straight up fish. A little scale there, we'll just flick that off. Hot. Oh, it's, oh, it's real, real warm, yeah. There's no, Hot. no cool down period. Hot, but very, very flaky. Crappie. You can always count on a crappie to be flaky. Now, the crazy thing is, we were fishing an hour ago. Now, it is a juicy filet. That needs some dang ketchup and a cruise light. <laughs> <laughs> that needs ketchup and a cruise light, but that is cooked perfectly. Good job, Rob. I just flaked right off the, uh, the skin there, half shell. If you get a big one, like that big 13, 14 incher we had, good to do a, a half shell mode on that. Other ones, put them in the grease. Okay, there's one. Let's get another. I know this isn't most appealing because it's on concrete, sitting next to a propane tag, but this isn't, uh, oh, look at that. Smoke and a pancake, it's like elk and a crappie. Is this five star? No. Are there airplanes flying over? Yes. Was it a little chewy? Yes. How old was this elk, do you know? You know what grade he was in? Like three. He's in third grade. How do you feel about it, Sue? A little too bloody? I think he likes to fish. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, there's a thumbnail opportunity. What's our final verdict here on on the elk versus fish. Um, don't Wait. cook your elk in the same place as you're cooking your crappie from 85 degree water. I think you may have a point there. Yeah. Here's the deal, no seasonings on this. You're gonna get more of the natural flavor. I felt like that elk needed some black pepper. 
and maybe something else. The fish, you can sort of taste the minnows that they've been eating. Small ones, not so much. The bigger um, crappie fillets, yes. They've definitely been eating some minnows down there and you can taste it. Just needs a little ketchup is all, but gets the job done. You forgot the propane tank. That's good. Glad I didn't sit on you. Look at those tiny scales. <laughs> My goodness. Because Rob had never been crappie fishing before, I thought the live bait would be an awesome idea. Have them just drop it down there and dangle it, and it's super effective on crappies. For some days that the jigs are more effective, you can drop the jig down there and you can catch them faster. In a highly pressured lake, or if there's high pressure in the atmosphere, or just the fish aren't biting that well, that live bait, man, it is good. And that guy at the bait store gave us huge minnows. I would say if you're gonna go crappie fishing, try to get, these mosquitoes are terrible, try to get, uh, I'm gonna say about like pinky size minnows. The ones we had were like fingerling size, almost like a shiner and a little, little too big. After eating the fish on the shore, we did think about going out and trying some of the goldfish around some of those same pilings and try to get some big bass or maybe some magnum crappie. But the fish at the Guggen house, they need to be fed. So if you guys want to go see that, you can check it out on Lunker's channel or stay tuned for the Guggen Squad channel. But we constantly have to feed Gary. He's so small, got to keep him growing. So those goldfish are going to good use. We had Rob catching his first crappie, Colorado elk cooked up with Texas crappie on the grill. That's an interesting combo. Definitely could have used some condiments there, but it was still good. If y'all are fans of crappie, let me know in the comments. I certainly like it, you guys know that, but I want to hear from you. And if you haven't tried it, go out there and do it. It's a cool new aspect of fishing. I always like to do it when the bass fishing is kind of tough. I want to try to focus on crappie a little bit more in the spring too, when we have those off bass days. Try to go to some lakes that have some monster crappie. I want to get a huge one on the wall. And maybe it's up in Canada. Maybe I go back to Canada and try to go after those monsters again next year. It's definitely a cool species. It's like a smaller bass and they absolutely wall up the bait and it's fun to catch on finesse gear. So thank y'all for tuning in today. If you've never checked out Lunker's TV channel, he'll be linked down below. We do a lot of fishing adventures together, usually a ton in the spring, but this is our first crappie adventure together. Also down in the description, you'll find links to the new merch, new camo hats, new make every cast count shirts, and some other goodness down there. Wherever you are in this great big world, I hope you're having a great day in the outdoors. And please, somebody sniff a fish for me. I'll see your bright and shiny faces right back here on the channel next time, y'all. Have a good one.